era of environmental consciousness. The world is steadily transitioning towards renewable energy sources and cutting down dependency on fossil fuels. India aims to have net zero emissions by 2070. To achieve this goal, India will need to decarbonize its electricity production. However, to accelerate this transition and ensure an uninterrupted power supply, efficient energy storage systems need to be in place. India Power Corporation Limited, a 105-year-old integrated power utility and E2S Power, a Switzerland-based thermal energy storage provider, collaborated to bring thermal energy storage systems or TESS to India. TESS is a compact plug-in system to convert coal-fired power plants into energy storage facilities. This cost-effective solution eliminates the need for additional equipment while getting the most out of existing infrastructure. The 250 kilowatt hour pilot test unit was tested at the thermal power plant of India Power at Asansol. The seamless integration of the unit with the power plant and achieving a technology readiness level of 7 out of 9 underscored the robustness and maturity of the test technology. I'm pleased about our collaboration with India Power and the opportunity to operate our pilot installation here at the thermal power plant at Asansol. We have successfully uh, tested our system, which is able to deliver superheated steam that can power a steam turbine and generate electrical power uh, on a need basis. The system was tested with the charging by excessive electrical power and thermal power and we store the energy at a very high temperature, about 700 degrees Celsius. With the deep penetration of uh, renewable sources of electrical power, such as solar, concentrated solar, wind, uh, flexible operation of classical thermal power plants is very needed. The synchronization of the test unit with the IPCL system will help the company achieve its goal of integrating 80% renewable energy into the distribution system by the end of 2024. IPCL's test business aims to extend its geographical reach across India, Southeast Asia and ASEAN countries, promising widespread impact and potential. This transformative technology finds application in countless sectors, from repurposing retiring thermal power plant assets to meeting flexibilization requirements, enhancing the utilization of concentrated solar power plants and facilitating the decarbonization of process industries. I am pleased to mention that India Power is the first company perhaps in India who is bringing this technology which is called thermal energy storage system in technical collaboration with E2S of Switzerland. The technology is very innovative is in what sense? Because the system can be charged from electricity as well as from the high pressure steam, which means it's a really a game changer for the future renewable energy sector to bring down the low cost RTC power in the country. Today, we have done our trial operations in our 12 megawatt plant at Asansol. Testing was perfectly done in terms of this reliability, viability and the maturity. India Power is very optimistic that this particular project will be a good solution for the renewable power sector and we are expecting 5 gigawatt hours energy storage requirement for future where India Power along with ETS technology can do a good job. This initiative also aligns seamlessly with the Government of India's Make in India campaign with 60 to 70 percent of the test components being sourced locally. Engineers from NTPC and Fishner India were also invited to the testing of the pilot unit. They emphasized on the significance of this technology in India's power sector, which is heavily reliant on coal power plants. I am very happy uh, that uh, IPCL has invited uh, us to witness this pilot test. From Indian context, uh, this technology has a different significance. 
in india the most of the power is generated from the coal thermal plant and with integration of the renewable energy this uh, requirement of flexibilization is uh, one of the burning issue in india so to mitigate that uh, we have been working on this technology since 2022 and i am very happy that ipcl in collaboration with e2s they have developed a innovative technology which will fulfill our uh, requirement though there are a lot of challenges there particularly during the charging fire that the outlet temperature that has to be in the condensed zone still i am very hopeful that e2s will uh, overcome that thing and in our design they will definitely fulfill our requirements we are the third party for witnessing the 250 kilowatt hour thermal energy storage system and over the last two days india power has developed the thermal energy storage system as per the design conditions 250 kilowatt hour tester has reviewed test procedure and the test plan for the both two tests the test one is power to steam the second one is steam to steam and furthermore the fissioner will review the both tests and after that the submitted the design report as per the design parameters transitioning to renewable energy will require near term storage systems to ensure the security of electricity supply especially during peak demand periods thermal storage system developed by e2s and india power corporation limited combined and i find that this has got a great potential in mitigating the carbon emission and also developing thermal storage system i am thankful that uh, india power and e2s has developed the system and i really congratulate them for this tes is not just a solution for renewable power plants it has a unique ability to seamlessly bridge the gap between thermal and renewable energy storage positioning itself at the intersection of both while other storage technologies primarily support renewables tes enables thermal plants to integrate more renewables into the system thereby facilitating a smoother transition to a greener world